The picture book I'm going to be reading for you guys today is called Scritch, Scratch, Scraw, Plot. This book was written by Kitty Crowther. Every evening the sun sets over the pond, and every evening Jeremy feels afraid. Time for bed, my little frog, says Mom. Jeremy checks that the front door is tightly shut. Then he hops through the water after his mom. As long as she is there, Jeremy feels happy. In the bathroom, Jeremy washes his hands and face. Mom listens as he brushes his teeth. Then he puts on his pajamas all by himself and mom buttons him up. One last pee pee and then to bed, mom sings out. She knows her little frog is afraid of the dark. Daddy is coming to read you a wonderful bedtime story. Dad is here, Jeremy snuggles up close. He wishes he could stay like this forever. Sweet dreams, my little froggy, don't be afraid. I'm right in the next room. I'll get Mama for your goodnight kiss. Dad gives Jeremy a kiss and goes for Mom. Mama, I want a hug and a kiss. Another hug and a kiss. All right, my little green bundle. It's time for sleep. I'll leave the light on in the hallway. You'll be as snug as a little mouse. I'm all alone in my room, thinks Jeremy, all alone in my bed, all alone in my heart. I think I hear a noise. Who is going scritch, scratch, scraw, plop under my bed? Is it a water monster? A feathered snake? Maybe it's a swamp skeleton. Jeremy is so afraid his tummy hurts. He hurries to his parents' bedrooms. Daddy, Daddy, whispers Jeremy. Wake up, there's something going scritch, scratch, scrawl, plop under my bed. Dad opens one eye. Scritch, scratch, scrawl, plop, he sighs. Oh, little froggy, those are only the sounds of the night. Let's tuck you back into bed. Now go to sleep, Jeremy, says Dad. He gently closes his son's eyes with his fingers. You'll see, the next time you open your eyes, it will be morning. But it's not morning at all, and Scritch Scratch Scrawl Plop is still there. Once more, Jeremy runs to his parents' bedroom. Scritch Scratch Scrawl Plop is still there. Come on, little one, it's late. There's no Scritch Scratch Scrawl Plop in your room. At this hour, even that's gone to sleep grumbled dad. Once again, Jeremy feels alone, awfully alone. Trembling, he sleeps quietly into the hall. Mommy, I'm frightened. Mom wakes up and takes Jeremy into her arms. He climbs into his parents' bed. At last, he can sleep. But poor, poor dad can't fall asleep next to wrinkly Jeremy. Exhausted, he goes down the hall and gets into Jeremy's little bed, where he falls right to sleep. But a scritch, scratch, scrawl, plop startles him awake. What on earth is that?
He goes to wake Jeremy. Come on, Dad whispers. Let's go see what's making that scritch scratch scrawl plop. Dad and Jeremy swim through the darkness towards a great big lily pad. In the stillness of the night, they hear scritch, scratch, scrawl, plop. Scritch, scratch, a mole digs a hole to her home. Scrawl, a bird calls into the night. Plop, a silver fish leaps out of the water and dives back in. Jeremy looks out into the night and smiles. You know what, Dad? I don't think I'm scared of the dark anymore. And there on that lily pad, they drift off to sleep, lilied by the water and the scritch, scratch, scrawl, plop. The end. Thank you for watching.